now we will reapply power to the VFD. As we see with the HMI, it will have a backlight. And looking at the display of the HMI, we see in the top left-hand corner is a status display. This is displaying ready. If, if the BFD was running, it would show run. If it's in a fault, it would show a fault. Next to the status display is a direction arrow showing the direction of rotation of the motor. With the HMI, it can be changed to go in the reverse direction. The top center display says LOC, that is for local. Out of the box, the, from the factory, the drive is ready to operate in the local mode. Pressing the local remote button, we can switch to remote control. The top right-hand display is for motor speed. The three large displays are programmable and can display any read parameter in the VFD. In default, the top line display is motor speed and RPM. The center display is motor current. The bottom display is motor frequency in hertz. In the bottom right is a is telling what the soft keys are associated with. In the first power-up display, the right soft key is for menu. The left soft key has no function. If we press the right soft key, we will go into the menu system. As we see, the, the orientation of the soft keys do change, so if we press return, we go back to the main display. Since we are powered up, we are wired to the motor, from out of the box, the drive can operate this motor. All we have to do is press the green run key. We do see the motor starts ramping up. We can change set speeds on the motor by using the up and the down arrow keys. We also see by using the reverse key, the motor will slow down, go to zero, and then will return in the reverse direction at the same set speed that you previously set. If we press the stop key, the motor will ramp to a stop position. We see the display, status display will change from run to ready.